The Smart Energy Council, an independent body for the renewable energy sector, has slammed the government's net zero plan. Joining me is John Grimes, Chief Executive of the Council. John, thanks so much for your time. We hear the Prime Minister saying repeatedly that Australia has record take-up of, of solar panels across one in four families' homes. Doesn't it show a government that actually is proud of the achievements of your sector? Well, it was the Morrison government, the, well, actually the, the Liberal National Coalition government, that tried to abolish the renewable energy target, you might remember, Kieran, that uh, they actually wanted to abolish the scheme that helped people put solar panels on their rooftops. And so they're claiming credit today for this initiative that they tried to abolish. They tried to abolish the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, the Clean Energy Finance Corporation. Most recently, they've had coal keeper programs. So it's the height of hypocrisy for the government to now come forward and say, with well, as a badge of honour. But 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 I think what they've what they've done unwittingly is educate three million Australian households. That's how many households now have solar panels on their rooftops. Their people worried about cost of living issues and they know that solar slashes their power bills. And so so really, you know, I think that the, the government is is talking out the side of its hat when it uh, claims credit for those uh, those programs. So what's driven it? Is it just our our uh, inclination to, to take up new tech or states and territory policy? What is it? There, there are two things. The, the first is that the cost of solar technology has dropped dramatically. So it drops at about 21% per annum every year since the 1970s. That means that if you install a solar panel system today on your house or your small business, uh, the payback period is about three and a half years. Beyond that, everything you save is money in your pocket. If you don't have solar on your rooftop today, you've got rocks in your head. The second thing is we have some of the, the best solar resource in the world. You put a solar panel in Australia, it'll produce about 2.6 times more energy than the same solar panel in Germany. So the, this is our huge national compar comparative advantage. And this is the thing that frustrates our industry so much. Instead of seizing the opportunity to be the world's renewable energy superpower, to actually produce electricity here at the world's lowest cost, okay. to use that to embed so in products products and export that to yeah. the world, that's the massive opportunity that we're missing out on. So tell me then, John, two things um, to wrap up. What's your problem with the government's plan? And secondly, this campaign that you're launching, it looks like you're being very targeted to marginal seats. You're going to run a campaign against the government's track record in the lead up to the federal election. How, how expansive is that advertising campaign going to be? Well, for, for eight years, uh, this, industry, this government has sought to lock in coal, lock in fossil gas and stop and push back renewables. And this industry's had enough. For, for us, uh, for our people, enough is enough. This sector now employs over 65,000 people in renewables and energy efficiency. It's going to employ a lot more in, in electric vehicles, renewable hydrogen. That's why this, this will ultimately be a multi-million dollar campaign that we're rolling out, targeting, um, you know, those moderate liberal that have really let their local constituents down badly and those marginal seats that will actually see who forms government next time around. We don't do this lightly. We've not done this before in election uh, context, but for, for our people, enough is enough. We're serious about it. Uh, we're sophisticated at doing this we're, and, and uh, we'll walk down the hill. And, uh, and you know, uh, this government has called on people, uh, uh, you know, and people will, will really put our industry last for the last eight years. So we'll be calling on, on our industry and our support to put this government last at the federal election. John Grimes from the Smart Energy Council, appreciate your time. Thank you.